guides, and this one is going to be all about Pathfinder. And what I actually did is in our anchor point guides, I actually attached a Pathfinder practice. I have this already placed. I have already scaled it. And I am going to show you what we are aiming for. So our goal when we are all done is to have a nice little smiley face. That everything is fitting together nice and neat. I do find that there is a big, big benefit in you guys to follow along and actually get down the, the practice and the repetition, especially if you are brand new or still struggling with things. So we can work out all the kinks together. So this is what we're going to do. I am going to start going through the process here. I am now on my shape layer. Everything else is locked out. And then let's pull up our Pathfinder. Anytime I'm on this right hand side and you don't see an icon, what I would like you to do is just come on over to Window. If you can't see Pathfinder or even another thing, if you know Pathfinder but you don't know the icon, you can always just come up to the top window, scroll down the Pathfinder and sometimes that's easier to find. So let's do this. I'm going to do the easy ones and then we are going to start doing more and more complicated ones. So that is kind of the thought process. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to ungroup just so we can do this together. Now these are already grouped together really doesn't matter if they're grouped or not. I group them for aligning purposes. So I wanted all of these circles to be aligned in the center of the artboard. But what I want to do when I'm dealing in Pathfinder is we're, you're going to notice that we are just using the strokes to build. Then I switch over to a fill. Then I use Pathfinder. So the easiest one I think everyone's going to understand pretty quickly is as long as everything is nice and overlapped, I'm going to come on over, I want to unite, and those are all going to merge together. I think everyone kind of gets that one. That one's pretty self-explanatory, so that one's the easy one. All right, so let's do it again down for our tongue. Again, I'm clicking on Shift X, and Shift X is this nice little toggle right here. So as long as my strokes are in the right color, that is going to be your bread and butter. I know you guys fight me when I when we do our shortcuts, but that's going to help out quite a bit. I am going to come on down. I want to arrange and then I want to bring to front. So that's what I want to be looking at as we start moving forward. I'm going to grab those. Let's just unite those. I think those are the easy ones. And now we can have some fun. So let's do this outside shape first. Again, I'm just clicking on Shift X and I'm going to use this shape to start cutting out some of this overlap. So we're going to ignore this little circle for right now and then we'll come back and clean it up. I'm basically trying to delete it, but I want this inside. Anytime I'm using a shape and I'm using it for kind of cutout purposes, but I want to keep it, that's where a lot of the struggle comes in. So if I want to take these teeth and I want to take this mouth and I want to do minus front, that's a pretty easy process. I think most of you guys are going to get that going, hey, I know that I want to cut this away, but the major issue is, hey, I still wanted those teeth. So we need to duplicate and we need to do some different things whenever we want to keep a shape. So we're not going to do minus front, but I just want you to kind of see that whenever we want just something to cut away, I think that's a pretty easy starter. What we want to do today is where all of the little confusion comes in. So I want to grab this mouth and I want to keep that shape. So I don't want it to delete. So what I'm actually looking to do is come on over I want to do this intersect, so I want you to look, if I don't save it, notice just that mouth goes away. So a lot of you are going to go, yep, that's what's happening. So what I want to do is copy it. So I'm going to go edit, I am going to copy, I'm going to edit, and as long as we keep one of them, paste in front, paste in back, paste in place, those are all going to plop down right back onto the same place in the artboard. The only one you don't want to do is this pace where it's just going to slap it down wherever. So that's the only one you don't want to do. So I'm going to come on down, paste in front. I am now going to do a little trick. I'm going to color this one garbage green. You can call it Pathfinder pink, however you want to color it. I'm also going to select it. I'm going to move it away so you can see that I have a secondary shape. Now I have the shape I still want to keep. So that green is the garbage one. We are going to trash it right now. So I'm just using it as a cutout. So when I come over to my intersect now, 
it's gonna go away. So notice the green one, that was trash. So we just used it to cut away the other shape. And then the shape I wanted is still in the back. Pretty awesome, right? So let's do Shift X. Let's do a similar process. And why we gave you this file is I want you to do this repetition just so you kind of get the hang of it. So let's do, oh, let's do this tongue since we can see it. So I'm gonna basically try and get rid of that outside and I wanna do the exact same thing. I wanna to go to edit copy. And again, if you know edit paste or the shortcuts, go for it. I just wanna show you this process. So it's a little bit more longhand so people that aren't speaking English can follow along with us. I am just selecting it. I am moving it away so you guys can see that I have a second shape there. I'm gonna come over to intersect and then I'm going to delete. I'm gonna go copy. I'm gonna go paste in front. I say, hey, that's a garbage green color. I am moving away so you guys can all see I've got a second one. And so all that was is that top. So notice that top disappeared. So that's gonna fit in there nicely. And now we get to start doing our minus fronts for our teeth, our mouth. And then we're gonna also do a little other option. So let's do this. I wanna duplicate. You do not necessarily need to do that. I'm just giving us another little practice one so you can see another little option for you. So I wanna take these teeth and then I wanna cut it away from that mouth. So right now, if I come over to Pathfinder and I do minus front, guess what's gonna happen? My teeth are gonna disappear. So I wanna do the same thing. Edit copy, edit paste in front. Color that new shape garbage green. That's gonna be the cutaway shape. Now I can do minus front and then it's cut away. So notice I'm stressing minus, so let's just go back. If I had bring the front, if I had that as my option, just notice that now the black is in the front, so it's gonna give me a very, very different look. So just really pay attention to when I say minus front, what it is referring to is that front shape that we are using in the arrange. So now that green is in front, that's gonna be the cutaway shape. That's my garbage green, minus front, and then I'm gonna cut that one away. Also just pay attention to that as we are cutting away and doing Pathfinder, notice how some of these orders are changing on us. So that is why I want you to just be aware of what's in front, what's in behind, what am I cutting away. So just kind of do a little bit of a thought process beforehand and it'll save you guys a lot of frustration. So again, I'm gonna go copy Paste in front. Let's do a little garbage green. This is a little dumb little step, I know. Some of you guys are gonna like, that just seems silly. But just so you guys can actually see it, so you can follow along. Again, we have other viewers that sometimes don't listen to the sound or have absolutely no idea what I'm saying in English. So we're just showing them, hey, there's a second shape. And I think most of you guys will say, oh, that's very nice of him. And then I'm gonna cut it away. So that is one option. Again, I want you to just think of are my shapes disappearing on you and then that's just going to be a good signal of one hey i should be duplicating out that shape you don't have to color it that's just kind of a thing of hey a visual little thing on the demo so let's just do this let's just finish that layer up let's go to two align on the outside and then maybe i want that to be the same color all right so that one was done Let's go over into this other version. So let's just say we have all of the outside already done. Let's just add on our little stroke so we can see everything. And we say, man, almost this looks pretty good, but there's still a tiny bit of overlapping. Now, for most of you, this is gonna be good to go. Like you don't necessarily have to go all the way through all of these steps. Some of you are gonna say, as soon as I am overlapped and I have a kind of a finished edge, Good, good enough, and then you can go from here. So let's just do a real easy one. That's just kind of a fun little one to do. And I am just going to check out all these little ones in the bottom. And I am just gonna click on that little merge. And all that's doing, let's just do it again so you guys can see it. So notice what we're trying to do is just get rid of those overlaps. So I'm gonna just come up at the top. Notice I only have those three shapes. I don't have that background shape. And then I'm going to merge and then those are gonna disappear. 
So notice that that was just another little option for you. This is gonna be all about Pathfinder today for our question and answer. So again, if you guys are having fun, make sure you are subscribing. Definitely put into the comments anything that you are struggling with so I could do another little tip video and a little more with our question and answers. So thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.